The Ulster semi-final awaits Down or Derry. Down won the toss and they've decided to play with the aid of a slight breeze. And Benny Coulter's 14th championship season onto it already. Mark Poland is the Down captain. This would be a dream start and it is a dream start for Down. Mark Poland with the first score inside 15 seconds. Jared O'Kane just reminding him he's right there with him. Yeah, beautiful score. <laughs> Goes for on his championship debut. Almost by Patsy Bradley. Downs Kevin McKernan had a decent league campaign. Derry coming into this with the momentum of promotion. There's a down player down injured off the ball. Connor Laberty plays on four down now it's Ambrose Rogers backing himself and why not when you can do that good point from Ambrose Rogers the down player still needs some attention but they lead by two points to no score Ambrose's first competitive game of the we say Jared O'Kane certainly one of those Collie Devlin with the fair hair back on the down 65 meter line this is Enda Lynn Derry being precise Charlie Kilt popping up free Kilt hit hard by Keith Quinn Charlie Kilt looking for and getting Derry's first score in the fourth minute. It's been a bright start by both of them, but Derry getting into the groove and getting their first point through Charlie Kilt. Yeah, great overlap that time from Charlie Kilt. Came in on the blind side, surprised in a way. Downer looked very impressive just a moment or two previously, getting 12 men behind the ball. But that time, Kilt got up on the blind side and took a very good score. And I notice also that Callum King has received a yellow card but anyway he's got the free in that was why Callum King was yellow carded yeah, and very and correctly so and this time next year that would be a black card Don O'Hare scoring sensation for down in 2013 <laughs> opens his Ulster championship and the Lynn now leaving Ryan Boyle in his wake and Owen Bradley given far too much room by Peter Turley, Bradley through, and Bradley makes up for the free that didn't go according to plan. But Peter Turley giving him yards as the ball was played across. Derry were unbeaten at home in Division Two. Patsy Bradley for Derry. End the Lynn now, leaving Ryan Boyle in his wake, and Owen Bradley given from the Burren. Now Benny Coulter, Chrissy McCaig is the Derry fullback, and Coulter has got away from it. Here's Benny, had help, and they look for a goal, it's come off the post, it's come off. Well, it went over, it went over, must have come off the bar behind the crossbar, if you follow me, from Niall Medine. That was a real opportunity for a goal, but watch Coulter's strength in particular, the way he took on two defenders. I think it was initially he took on Chris McCaig, got past him far too easily. Mark Lynch left on the, on the wrong foot, lovely pass, and that ball was just talked about all the way through his career minors with Derry under 21s last year had a good league and he loves that beautifully struck from Benny Heron first point in championship football it's down by one well I haven't seen this guy Benny Heron again or Connor Laverty Benny Coulter closest to him nobody in the down full forward line Kevin McKiernan arrives in support and has to go for it himself McKiernan very fine score the two man full forward line were drawn out the field and McKiernan had to go for it did and down lead by five points to three yeah that's the score of the game as far as I'm concerned uh, 14 men behind the ball uh, broke up that Derry attack and a wonderful counter Collie Devlin was on the Derry panel four years ago went off it now back on it here's Enda Lynn Lynn getting away from Declan Rooney they reckon he's Derry's most improved player this year Ryan Bell great football from Derry James Kilt now the centre forward should score and does really nice point Enda Lynn played a huge part in that the finish applied Ambrose Rogers low to Benny Coulter out in front of his man, did extremely well to hold on to the ball. Charlie Kielt. Kielt, confident to take on his man. Benny Heron. Owen Bradley, trying to get away from the cover. Brilliant is Endelin. Nice point, really nice point. Bradley made the space. Endelin is playing well, as is. Ball, showing great strength and holding off a number of tackles but they run again from Lynn from a, from a deep position
very penetrating and very incisive, very good score. This is very promising for Donal O'Hare of down. Derry left him completely, and O'Hare does the business. Derry had drawn. Mark Poland. Niall Medine hunting this down. Four down, it's Ryan Scott of Derry, the left cornerback just behind him. Ambrose Rogers left that travel back to Kevin McKernan from the Burren. Oh, he's got that one right out of the sweet spot. Glorious point. Wonderful score. Two-point game. That's a wonderful execution of the score, like with the outside of the right foot. Just watch this here. Strikes with great confidence with that. The guy I'd like to credit with, given a lot of credit there, is Nile Medine for... Brilliant power getting away from Ambrose Rogers. And it's for Owen Bradley. He's up there on his own. Turley on the card will try to fell him. But here's Turley now in front of him. Owen Bradley going with the fist and over. Off the bar. Pace of it is lifted right up again. Well, he's had a wonderful first half, but he's just leading the down defenders of Mary Dance, even with the extra player on them. And there's that seam of cuteness there, apart from directness, by both sets of attackers, that's making this a very enjoyable game. His brother Paddy, who continues his bid to recover from another cruciate knee ligament injury, is here working for the media today. And that was the slightest of nicks from Brendan McCarville. That was uh, Ryan Bell. And it wasn't so good. Benny Herring, though, picking it up for Derry. Bradley slinging it back, and that is absolutely gorgeous. James Keat, even Brian McIver like that. Level for the second time, and down in a mess at the back. Here come Derry. Owen Bradley has it, takes the hits, Bradley. Trying to work an angle for himself and slotted that over. After the mess up with the kick out, Derry leads in this match for the first time. Yeah, that's quite an extraordinary mistake that time. Never turn your back on the ball is an old maxim in football. Goalkeeper Brendan McVeigh took the quick kick out. His defender wasn't waiting for us. And who is I think it's the centre back is Peter Turley and made a mess of that actually but that's the second time actually that uh, Ryan Bell has recycled ball to the players who are capable of scoring and Bradley puts it over the bar to those Cavan and Donegal and here's Niall Medine missed one earlier off his right but he's caught that one eight all it's good stuff it's good so a hugely enjoyed to lose to Longford in the qualifiers and it was Back to square one for them, and that's where Brian McIver came in. Here's Jared O'Kane and Owen Bradley. He is loving this, Bradley. Doesn't want it to end. Back in front again, 9-8. Yeah, but that awareness of players' strengths and players' weaknesses is evident once again. Jared O'Kane gets the ball, knows that maybe shooting at goals isn't his strength. Just recycles it to Owen Bradley, who does, you know, puts it over the bar. But I've seen that again, one, you know, many times today. Ryan Bell on a previous occasion, I think, let the ball back. Was it to James Keelt who shot a great... Bradley pointing and screaming as to where he wants the ball played. James Keelt, oh yes, that is a gorgeous point. And we've seen points of such huge quality. Those guys would have been proud of them. It's beautiful to watch. Keelt has given a couple of examples, a couple of those ones today, but... Proves the point, Colin Devon knows that kicking maybe isn't his strength of press. It is Keels and Keith has a punch on for putting long distance points over with his left foot. Difficult pick up, but had to try it. It didn't work. Jared O'Kane and McCallion and Lynch back with Jared O'Kane. Mark Lynch. Benny Heron. Derry man down injured. I think it's Jared O'Kane, but they play on. And why not when Owen Bradley's near? Two on him again, Bradley's got away from them, in towards Mark Lynch, Lynch for Derry, goal! We've seen him do that before, but coming up from centre-back, Bradley was just sublime, and the finish exquisite from Mark Lynch. Derry have made their move, 1-10 to 8, as we head towards half-time. Well, there's a goal that hit most people watching uh, who want to see how uh, you know a finish should be executed should watch again and again just watch the way lynch comes forward taps it under the goalkeeper so composed in his execution but the the assist from bradley is so impressive 
slips it underneath the goalkeeper. That's very well taken. Doesn't blast it. Keeps his cool. Keeps his composure. Is in his corner back. Niall Bedine. Laverty joins in again. O'Hare is in closest to goal. Donal O'Hare. Ryan Boyle. And the shot is very precise. Beautifully done by Declan Rooney. They needed that. Yes, indeed, Darryl, they needed that badly. But the build-up that time was so slow and so laboured. And in contrast, Derry seemed to be quicker in thought and movement. They're a much sharper-looking team. And they're forward... Heron is looking for it again. He's to the right. And now he's got it, Heron. Plenty of pace on that. And Bradley was brilliant. Goal chance, a wonderful save from Brendan McVeigh. He just eased the defender out of the way. Went for the far corner. MacGyver thought this was it. So did Bradley. But Brendan McVeigh had other ideas. There's a little bit of cuteness in action from Bradley that time. Great ball. And just watch the way he uses his backside to ask Brendan McArdle out of the way. But and also, I suppose, the fact that Brian McIver has known an awful lot about these oh, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Connor Laverty making a, a nuisance of himself, and we talked Heron up. And he wasn't able work here with me in studio pass if you're looking for a football match that has end-to-end -end play and plenty of scores in it you've come to the right place uh yeah it's been a really really enjoyable game of football really open game of football and from a forwards point of view what i think is absolutely fantastic there was 20 scores there 18 of those came from play and 11 different players scored from play that's absolutely fantastic yes the blanket defenses are there in evidence in both teams but what you have is two teams particularly Derry who have sort of put a bit of thought into trying to say, right, there's an attacking plan, we're going to outwit, we're going to try to find ways through that blanket defence. And you're, they're running at pace, they're breaking the tackles, uh, their, their support play is at pace, their work rate off the ball by Derry. I mean, Owen Bradley is double teamed by Brenda McArdle and, Brenda McArdle and Peter Tudley. And he's still winning the ball. He scored four points. Uh, Derry have been the more impressive team. And like I said, they seem to... Down have a defensive plan. So they sit back. But it, it, it's allowing Derry to run at them. And, it's, and another thing about them is when the blanket defence, with both teams with the blanket defensive play, they're kicking the ball over the blanket. And there's some, some superb long range points. So you'd want to be a real hard person to, not to have enjoyed that game. It well, was really enjoyable for that. I have certainly enjoyed it. Although Derry have certainly had the better of it, there was not an awful lot between the two of them. The goal actually has put that little bit of distance in it. Yeah, well, the caveat, of course, in this is the defensive play by both teams. Well, has certainly not looked out of place on his championship debut, a big Derry midfielder. Neither is this man, Enda Lynn, playing well all year. Chrissy McCaig, we mentioned that attacking instinct in the first half. Here's Benny Heron, scored one point from a 45, and the Derry crowd love that because the white flag has gone up to signal the point from Benny Heron. First score of the second half more daylight between Derry and Down. Yeah, but this tactic that Derry have had all day of switching the direction of their attack once they get into the offensive third or half of the field, if it's manifest uh, once more, and Heron shoots it very well off the left. Here's Ryan Bell. I wonder will he have a go? He is going to have a go. No, why? No. On the other side of the field, the down attackers are finding it very difficult to penetrate the tackling that Derry are putting in front of them. Niall Medine getting out in front of Aidan McAlin again. And getting some space too as his head down. Hardly a time to look at the post. Very nicely done by Niall Medine. Down really needed that. First of the second half. Mark Poland looking to make some yards. Here's Donal O'Hare. Yes. Struggled to get possession in a decent area. Four dairy men around him didn't help. Ambrose Rogers, first competitive game of the year. He'll be feeling it in the later stages of this second half. Ambrose Rogers, here's Keith Quinn getting away from the cover. We're running around it more like. Here's Connor Laverty. Derry happy to soak this up as down. Seek an opening. Callum King. There wasn't a gap there, but King got through it. Now it's Donal O'Hare. Mark Poland, is there a shot in our future? Yes, there is, and there's a point in Down's future too. 
patience paying off. It looked as if they were going to be frustrated. They've lost the w their way so much since the beginning of the second half, and that will have caused Brian McIver headaches at the moment. Down in more of a rhythm, Mark Poland. Low to Conor Laverty, giving it back, great hands, here's Poland. They've got to score a goal from here, it's O'Hare, goal! They're back in business and they're back level. Don O'Hare, level for the fourth time. And that down rhythm pays off in spades as they get a goal to level us up at Celtic Park. Don O'Hare. Once again, Poland involves in the movement. Lovely little ball forward, takes the return this time, just keeps his composure, his great peripheral vision, and O'Hare does the right thing, just flicks it into the net. That's a great stinging response, must be said, for down at the beginning of the second half. Connor Laverty, Donald O'Hare is in closest to goal. Here's McKernan. O'Hare trying to retrieve that. He's done unbelievably well to keep that in play. Ben goals in the league all from penalties. And Kielt just drawing that one in. Very nicely done. Here's the goal scorer, Donal O'Hare. Just gone over. That was tight from Donal O'Hare. It was tailing away. Hit the most of it too, it must be said. to put down in front, Donal O'Hare. Lack of match practice certainly is a problem, but that'll stand to him later on in the championship to have got that little bit, you know, whatever it is, about 50 minutes or more into the legs. Down leading for the first time since uh, midway through the first half. They could extend their lead, O'Hare in again, and now Poland goal! Mark Poland! With a lovely finish, put on a plate for him by Donal O'Hare. And two goals in the space of seven minutes have down dreaming of another famous day at Celtic Park. That's a fabulous goal. You must credit Laverty going back to his um, involvement in that score. He, uh, you know, executed the turnover, as we call it. He had the vision to see the good run off the ball by O'Hare. And O'Hare once again just kept the cool and Poland finished it off, just volleyed it into the James McCartney. He was so frustrated with the lack of effort. It's the down version of the hairdryer, and here they come again with Callum King and another point. And the down followers behind that goal absolutely loving it. They've seen so much action down there to extend their lead to 214 to 112. First point of the day for Callum King. He has replaced. Just waiting clarification of that. But Emma McGuckin is on anyway. Now it's Brian McCallia. A late replacement into the Derry team, and he's given that absolutely everything. Corker of a point from McCallion, who's gone down in a... And a foul by Mark Poland. That Derry full back line in the second half has just been so open. Down on the back foot as Mark Lynch raids forward for Derry. Lynch steadies down on the right boot. That looks good. It looks great. It is a fantastic point for Mark Lynch. And Derry not gone away at all. Two down and plenty of time. Three in a row for them now. Well, that's in keeping with the standard of kicking from distance that we have seen today. Lynch, a great forward and another life. You know, put that kind of sk those skills to great use. This here was the winning of the game from uh, I think Don O'Hare's point of view. Very unlucky, um, just hit the butt of the post. But good work, it must be said in the build. He's looked very lively since coming in, Declan Mullen. Now it's Endel in for Derry. Two points down, ran into trouble, lost possession of the ball. Callum King on hand to save down. Well, I think with little meets large, there's only going to be one outcome, and that is large wins out, but King executed a very good tackle that time. Kevin McKernan has been a real powerhouse all the way through. Connor Laverty is the decoy, there's a gap, and McKernan drives through and over the bar. A goal between them. Laverty was brilliant the way he just took the cover away and allowed McKernan to drive on. A goal between them again, five and a half minutes to go. They just watched this tackle by King, great tackle, on the ball, perfectly executed, timing delightful, but the lung bursting run then at the other side of the field, just watch McKernan, doesn't see the support, as you said, Laverty took the defenders out of the way, and Kiernan says, here goes. Goal in this. 
Down have a three-point lead and possession with Kevin McKernan. He's done this so often in the second half, but it's so important. And Derry have nothing to get near him. Kevin McKernan puts them two scores ahead. Travel serious distance to get that point, and it's a fabulous score at such a vital time for James McCartan's team. 2.16 to 115. Yes, and when they needed leadership in the second half, McKiernan has provided it. He's driven forward on a couple of occasions to wonderful scores, it must be said, late in the game. He has settled them, he has driven them, he's been magnificent for them. And Owen McNichol not happy to kick the ball out around midfield because Down have done extremely well out there in the second half. A more conservative ploy. Ryan Scott of Derry. They need to come up with something inspirational 18 minute spell midway through the second half they outscored Derry and they have designs on more and they've got more really fine score slotted over by Jerome Johnston to extend their lead and really to seal their place in the Ulster semi-final beaten Ulster finalists last year they were in the division one league semi-finals last year relegation sure this year yeah, but they've got a lot of experience built up over the last couple of years, Darry, you know, reaching an All-Ireland final, as you said, in 2010. Even last year, I think they went out in the quarter-final against uh, May. Thrives on the ball and really made this forward line tick when he was in possession. It's a famous, famous win for James McCartan's down. Derry came here as slight favourites. They were leading by five points at the start of the second half, but the O'Hare and Poland goals set down up for a famous victory and they will play Donegal on the 23rd of June here at Celtic Park in Derry. Down have beaten the home side by 2.17 to 150. Does it stop talking? And your commentators at Celtic Park in Derry were Darren Maloney and Martin Carney. Pascal Anne and Colin Rourke here with me in studio. Colin excellent win for down I mean at the half time juncture they were behind this match but what a second half performance they put in yeah I think it was an examination of the Downs team's character and uh, at half time they looked dead and buried and then Derry came out and got a point but I think that the likes of Conor Laverty Mark Poland and probably principally Kevin McKernan <coughs> three of the most experienced players when they really needed them most they stood up and were counted and it was a fantastic comeback scored 2-8 in the second half and Derry's flaws were exposed their defensive flaws the need for a sweeper it completely backfired and I suppose Ender Bradley our own 